Hi there. I wanted to post a little update on the other video I posted yesterday on Canvas render to target and uh, find collision UV. So this time I'm going to show one of the problems I had. So I turned on physics for this box here. So as you can see, uh, when I shoot this, uh, depending on the rotation, the holes I'm shooting here, they are going to change from either sticking out or well, being into the box. And that's because, as I said, I'm painting this in wall space. So thanks to Ryan for pointing out that it's actually quite easy to just fix this by converting back and forth. I didn't know how to do that in the material when I did it yesterday. So I'm just going to show real quick how to fix that. So inside the, the cube here, I take the hit normal, it's actually not the hit normal, it's actually the hit direction. And since this is a cube, I can get the actor rotation or transform. And then I can inverse the local direction and then switch this out. And that's going to give me uh, the local space direction instead. And that's what I'm going to feed into the deform brush material. So inside the deform brush material, I'm not going to do anything. It's still going to be the same. It's going to go in for the emissive color. But inside the material I use for the box itself, while the deform texture is going in here, I'm going to take this multiply and I'm going to insert a transform node which I honestly didn't know about, but it is super handy for this kind of stuff here. So it's definitely one I'm going to be using in the future. So right now it says tangent space to, to wall space. So out here you can switch this to local space. So it's going from lo local space to wall space. So it's really, really uh, generic, this node here. So if we now save this and switch back to the map, and then shoot, it's still shooting the holes as it should. But even if I fill this with a lot of holes, well, except a few of them, <laughs> I managed to hit them from a weird angle. Um, but as you can see here, if I can catch it, it's gonna stay the same no matter what I do. So no matter which direction it's turning, I have no idea how I managed to punch a negative hole in that. So I want to come with a little addition or kind of a challenge to anybody watching this. Uh, one idea I think of is that if you created some kind of pole and you had a, an object moving towards that pole, once it hit it, it would leave some kind of um, dent in, in on that uh, object that it hit. That would be a pretty awesome challenge to try and implement using this deformation technique by painting on a canvas. And so I guess this could technically be used for creating some we call it, uh, illusions of deformation, for example, for cars, destructible cars or semi-destructible cars, um, and then combine that will destruct with destruction itself. So it would fracture after a certain amount of damage, like this one could, for example, do. I wonder how that would perform actually with the, huh, something I need to test maybe. Probably I can't because the destructible mesh can I do a destructible mesh and then add this again? Yeah. Hmm. So I don't see why it should be possible. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope you like. Bye bye.